After I give you my stories about why I remained an actor, which is more important than why I became an actor, because it's a tough business, kids. But here comes the good news. There's acting and good acting, and then there is great acting and I. Listen up, this is an acting lesson. Yeah. I go to the audition for Dick Wolf with a character I kind of worked out and and uh, and I do the character and then uh, I get the role, but then I have I have lunch with Dick Wolf, the producer, uh, at the restaurant I used to be a waiter in. <laughs> I talk about full circle. So. <laughs> so I'm there, and he said, Michael, you know you almost lost this role. You were my first choice at all, uh, but you came in with a character and the whole thing. And I just want you to just be yourself. No one had ever just demanded keep my job to be myself. And it wasn't easy at first. But then it became easier and easier and easier. And it was one of my best acting lessons, which I got while being paid in my speed. And I hadn't learned the lessons I learned from Law and Order uh, yet, because I was years away from being in that show. But um, if you're yourself, you, you never repeat yourself. If you're alive, it just can't happen. As Louis Armstrong said, I, I don't repeat myself. I can't do it. You know, I just, I'm like a bird, you know. You can't ask me to tweet, tweet the same way, but do it. And it's just, so, and that had a great to do with my, that you, you can't, in jazz, you can't repeat yourself. There's no point to it. And in great acting, it's, there's always something a bit of new every day. It's about the word. Mm -hmm serving the English language. And here's the difference. The British School of Acting depends so much upon the word. And that's really where the heart of everything is the word. Well, um, a great actor like Marlon Brando, okay, who was a paper thin voice for the most part. And he told someone like this, and yet we hear the words, but something else is going on. What the fuck it is, I don't know. <laughs> something very powerful. It's a deep belief of faith, and that's why American film has trounced, for the most part, some of the most brilliant films uh, the Brits have made, brilliant films, and they're all incredibly literate and brilliant, and you have to really be smart to stay up with them. But the heart-wrenching films are usually American because there's something going on. Beyond the word, as they say, beyond words. Uh, I wake in the morning and I compose, and only for, I only do it for a half hour to an hour. And I just I pick up where I left off in the second or first movement and add a couple of measures, and and then it's done. And by the end of uh, six months, I've got to hold something. And but I don't, I don't. It's not about thinking. It's art is art is not about thinking. And it requires a whole other set of thinking and stardom is another profession. Mm -hmm. Acting's one and then stardom is this other thing. And 
and so uh, all of you, part of you, everyone wants to be a star. And I know in my heart, because I taught acting for 20 years, I know that you are all destined to be stars in your own right, at whatever it is you find. Me, find. It may not be theater or acting, it may not, but you do have a star because no one's like you. And you are unique, and, uh, and your life will take you to different things and bounce you around and hurt you and then lift you up and then drop you. <laughs> But eventually you start to say, this is what I am, this is what I should be doing, this is what I want, and then you'll be. The only thing I'd like to give you here is happiness. Because the American creed, the pursuit of happiness, is the heart of any sane country in the world. There's no reason you shouldn't be there to pursue your happiness. So in your old age, you start putting things together from your life and organizing them. And that's why it's nice to have this moment to share with you my life because I've had to organize my life and what's happened to me come up with some conclusions. So it's very, you know, I'm very grateful to be here and to be asked to be here because I know I've had a great uh, life and an excellent career. So uh, collecting all the thoughts is, is an insane. And I hope you all live as long as I have and have the opportunity to just kind of help the younger people know that they're looking ahead decades in their life. And someone's already been there, just looking back and saying, there's some bad things and there's some good things.